My name is Melissa Rosenkranz and I'm a scientist at the Center for Healthy Minds. And this study is trying to better understand how the brain and the immune system communicate such that things like stress and emotion can impact asthma symptoms and the disease processes that underlie asthma um, and vice versa. What happens in our brain is related to our psychological experience of the world and that has very real, very concrete impacts on our immune system. I think when people hear that, they often think that what we're trying to say is that asthma is psychosomatic or it's all in their head, but that isn't what we mean at all. What we mean is that the very same processes that can be caused by a pathogen in your body can also be initiated by your brain. And that's a really powerful um, concept when you think about it. it. It really means that the brain has immense power over what happens or what doesn't happen in the body. Participants will experience a range of different things. There are a few different segments of the study. They'll have um, their lung function tested with some um, equipment over in the pulmonary clinic. They'll have a bronchoscopy where they actually have a tube sort of inserted down their throat to get fluid from um, their lungs and cells from their lungs and then that actually inserts allergen into a single segment of their lung that causes a um, inflammatory response that is very intense locally but because it's such a small part of the lung it doesn't actually change lung function globally. So you, you can't actually detect a change in lung function even though there's this um, intense inflammatory response happening in a very small segment of the lung. Before that's done, they have an MRI where they come in and um, we put them into the MRI scanner and their task while they're in there is to identify the color of words that appear on the screen. While they're doing that, we're collecting images of their brain. We also collect images of their brain at rest and we collect images of the structure of their brain as opposed to the function. We're hoping to have 50 people in the study all together and we will get as many as we can in the amount of time that we have allotted. The amount of time that a participant will be involved in the study really varies based on how flexible their schedule is and with the most flexible schedule someone could be through the study in a few months. I feel enormously lucky to have worked with this group. It has really shaped the way that I see the world. I can't think of a better environment in which to be doing the work, um, to have the support that I have and the resources that I have. and just a really um, exciting environment.